Hello, this is Martin at KRS Home Water Damage Services. This is day two of this flood damage emergency in San Diego County. We're going to be walking the job to inspect the water damage. The equipment has been on for over 12 hours. And as you can see here on the wood floor, the water has penetrated into the, the wood flooring. Most likely this is going to have to come up. We've removed the baseboards on the walls that have been affected. And there is moisture trapped about 10 inches high. Some parts, which is here, is wet. We come over to this wall over here. We remove the baseboard also, and as you will note, over here at the furthest end, there is moisture trapped in the drywall here. We come around into the family room slash dining room. You will note, wet approximately eight to nine inches here. Along this wall, it's also wet, approximately five to six inches. And around the perimeter of the floor here. You can also see the wood floor damage here. If you follow me around, you'll see that the seams of this wood flooring have been, uh, indicate that water has penetrated in there. And it's something that you can't dry. This most likely is going to have to come out. You will note over here on the drywall that it is wet. Approximately six to eight inches high. The water came through here into the kitchen also. As you will note, we removed the toe cakes from the bottom and the wall is very wet in the back. So we will have to remove this baseboard in addition. We remove the toe kicks throughout the perimeter of the floor. And the drywall is all very wet. Okay, so now we come to the hallway. You can see the visible water damage here. The bottom of the wood floor and throughout the wood floor, it's all wet. There was approximately a half inch of water throughout this entire area. So this here is wet, about nine to ten inches high. That's about a foot high in moisture. Uh, same thing around this area. Pretty much you have the same amount of moisture throughout the whole entire perimeter of the floor. Beneath this small cabinet, this was also flooded. So if you can take a peek at the water stain, here's the water stain, very saturated. We're going to be removing the base there and adding some more drying equipment. This is the laundry room. The laundry room water was coming down and coming up off the light. As you can see all the, the seams of the drywall have been wet. We will try to dry this instead of cutting it so this is all wet the vinyl has been removed since the moisture was trapped we do have documentation pictures of it being trapped moisture throughout this entire area we removed these because the water did come down this this area in some parts other side We have this bedroom here. This is where the customer sleeps. He is handicapped, so this is, you could consider this the master bedroom. Wood flooring is damaged. Throughout the perimeter of the floor, walls are wet. Approximately six to eight inches high. We come into the bathroom here. This is a handicap friendly bathroom. As you can see the paint has started to bu bubble here. This is evidence that there's moisture trapped behind this. But they're coming out so easily. The moisture is trying to come through. So this bathroom 
took the brunt of it. It's right below upstairs bathroom that the flood originated. All these walls are very wet. The ceiling is wet. We're going to the garage now where it was actually raining in the garage. We do have video. These casings came off because the moisture traveled down the wall, both sides. I believe here. So coming to the garage, you will see that the entire ceiling has been also water damaged. This is all very wet. It feels to be double drywall, which may mean that we have to remove it also. All this is wet, the paint started to peel here. So all these walls are wet down here. Moisture did come down these walls, so it is wet here, wet here, wet here. You can see the water staining. The drywall is very soft and it literally falls apart. So this is the garage. If you take a look over here, you can see the water stain throughout the, the ceiling, down above the uh, soft there. This entire garage was also flooded with water. There still was a little bit of, still a puddle there of water that from, that continued to drip through the night. And you can see water here is still seeping from all this area. So we can go upstairs now. Water was literally flowing down the stairs. And uh, the steps are damaged, water damage also. There's moisture trapped at the seams. This drywall in some areas did get wet as a result of the water flowing down. started to buckle and swell as a result of the water damage. So all these walls are wet here. About eight inches high. Ten inches high approximately. I believe it happened on both sides. Since the water flowed down these stairs into the living room, that's the main path of water. So this is the upstairs hallway. All these walls are wet about six, six inches high. Same here. Same there. I'm going to come to this wall. It's all very wet. This is the bathroom where the flood originated. Beneath this sink, there's a there's a pipe that has uh, this here is what failed, burst open, a pressurized line and caused the damage. So the laminate floor in here took the brunt of it also. And it is wet. Walls are wet. Approximately six to ten inches high. Some areas. Toilet room is also wet. And it's wet throughout the perimeter of the floor. And right here is wet about 10 inches high. So we'll call this one bedroom number one. And also had water extracted from the floors. Still wet about eight inches high. So, and here we're gonna try to dry it once again. And not have to cut anything, but the walls are very wet. And you can see here it's about seven inches high wet. And I'm wood flooring. Also you can see the 
the damage at the seams here. It's a floating floor, so even if it could dry, it would still have to come out because there's water beneath. We'll go into bedroom number two, we'll call this. Same thing with the perimeter floor. Everything's wet. Treat the affected areas with the dermicide and we'll set more drying equipment. <laughs> 